Hey beautiful, good to see you baby. Welcome back. Today we're filming in my kitchen for the first time in a hot minute because honey, I have missed this place. Like when it's dark out and I'm recording at night, I can just go around the corner and I am all set. But during the day, I think I want to film in here again. What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments how you feel about me coming back to the kitchen because like I said, girl, I have missed it. But today we are unboxing my Boxy Charm. Oh, I'm so excited about this one because, in my opinion, this is one of the better boxes that we have received in a hot minute. I know my hair's a little bit crazy today, but work with me, girl. I did not have the time to straighten it because I wanted to do all this craziness, and we will talk about that in just a second. Of course, we are starting off with the card and the theme this month, and that is Vacation. Super cute play on words, boxy charm. So looking at this, it looks like this box totals a little over a hundred bucks, which is pretty good as this is a $21 a month subscription. I won't even lie, this is a really good box. So let's dive right in and start with the product that everybody is dying to hear about. This is the palette that BoxyCharm sent this month. It is a BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics collaboration. And it's super cute, first off, the packaging. It's got like little hearts all over it. Oh, I love it already. And then on the mirror, I don't wanna blind y'all. On the mirror, it says Pure and Boxy Charm, and then down here we have our pretty palette. Check it out. I am so happy that Boxy Charm has been listening to their customer base and giving us more colorful palettes, number one. Number two, what's not to love about this? This is a mainly warm tone palette. It's got a mix of shimmers slash metallics and mattes. I mean, it's just got a whole bunch of everything plus a pop of color too. I'm totally digging it. And of course, y'all knew which shades I was going to be using today. So obviously, I've got the blue and the pink here, which is more like a like a pink purple berry shade. And then I have this one on as well in my crease. And I also use just a touch of this dark brown right here. Um, and then I use Charmer right here for my inner corner highlight. I really like how they put the names of the shades on the palette and that they included a little bit of both companies. Like, let me see. So this one is Perfect, and this one is Charmer, and then this one is Boxy Black. So like I said, a little bit of both companies, and I think that's really cool. Now let's do a couple of swatches, and I will get into talking about the formula of these, because I have some thoughts there. So here are some swatches for y'all, and of course I did all of the shimmers because I'm super obsessed with the shimmers, and I did a couple of mattes over here too. So down here we've got the gold and the cream shade charmer, and out of all of them, these two feel the most thick and creamy, and the rest of them feel nice too, and they swatch okay, but they're not quite as um quite as creamy and smooth as these two down here. As you can see, the shimmers are a little bit chunky and a lot of them have like a touch of glitter in there. The blue especially, it was a little hard to work with because it had a lot of fallout, but it turned out like really pretty and bright. Um, and I haven't tried the rest of these out, but they, they look really nice. They just, the formula is a little bit chunky. I'll say that the formula is definitely different from the Soiree Diary palette that we received a couple months back. That one was all right, but it was like really dusty. I mean, not even powdery, it was like super dusty. These feel more like satins, like there's a little bit of oil added to them. And they have like a subtle sheen to them, so they're not completely matte, but they still do the job. Now, as far as these two go, I just want to say, number one, I'm super impressed with the black that they included. It does have a touch of glitter in it, but it comes off as like a black black. I know it's really hard to get a deep dark black shadow right, but they did a good job with that one. And the brown is nice and dark and perfect for, you know, shading in your 
your crease and darkening up your look. I will say that I'm slightly confused with the addition of the black shadow just because this is mainly a warm palette shy of maybe the cream shade but the blue. Otherwise it's all warm tones and the dark brown that they included is definitely dark enough to be substituted for the black shadow but I know a lot of people complain when they don't get a black shade in their palette so I'm sure that's why they added it but the dark brown here would definitely be just fine. On to my next product this month we also got a three piece set of brushes from Vintage Cosmetics. Look at how cute this box is and then it's got some flowers up at the top on the bottom here. I really like the attention to detail on this. Now the three brushes that came with them, they came individually wrapped in, in that little box. Um, they actually feel really nice. It's definitely plastic on the end. It's not very heavy, but it does feel like a pretty decent brush. Um, and the bristles are really soft, but they are kind of tightly pulled in there. And then I will say that this one right here, came a little frayed. I don't know if you can see that on this end right here. But otherwise, they came in really good condition. I feel like this would be a good brush for your shimmers. Second brush would work out really well for smoking out your lower lash line. And then also they included an angled shadow brush. Now you could definitely use this for your crease shades, but it is again a little bit tight, so I don't know how good it would be at blending out. And it's just got like pretty writing and a cute little saying on each one, so I really like that. These are really cute brushes. For my third product, all subscribers will receive a blush by Pretty Vulgar. Now there are two shades. There's like a really bright like pink shade and then there's this one which is Hush Blush. And I love the packaging, number one. That is so cute. Pretty Vulgar has some really nice packaging. And then this is what the blush itself looks like. It's a really pretty matte, like, toned down berry shade, and I'm digging it. I wore it today. Now, I will say, it went on, like, super heavy. I mean, my brush picked it up like that. It's a really fine milled powder, and it goes on really smooth. It's very blendable, but do be careful, or you will end up like me with this giant line of blush on your face, because I was not careful. Fourth product that I have here is supposedly a variation, but I have yet to see a different box without this. This is the Double Decker Lashes Mascara by Butter London, and it's freaking huge. Oh my gosh. So you crack her open, this is what the inside of the box looks like. And on the box, it actually says 200% thicker lashes and 314% increase in lash curl. Mm -mm. And this is what the giant tube of mascara looks like. It says double decker lashes. Let's pull out the brush here, show everybody the wand. So it does pick up a good amount of product. It's just your standard spoolie. It's not super thick, but it definitely does the job. I used it today. I don't think you can see it very well. I thought this mascara did a really good job at lengthening my lashes um, and curling them, but it did not separate very well, so you're definitely going to need to have a clean spoolie laying around when you use it. Final product for this month's Boxy Charm is by South Main. It's a three pack of eye gels. I've never heard of this company before, but I will give them an A plus on packaging because it's super cute and it comes with the directions on the back and check it out. So the packaging really does reflect what is on the box though. I'm kind of digging this green instead of the dark blue but I love that it comes with the directions on the back of each pack so in case you want to give one to a girlfriend or something they have the directions right here. That is it for my boxy charm this month. I actually really like it. Um, out of everything though, I'm digging the palette and the blush the most. Just because we are finally starting to see more colorful palettes. Finally! I've been dying to get a more colorful palette from Boxy Charm. I feel like pretty much all of them last year were just 
neutral palettes. They were all basically the same and getting something different with a pop of color and that nice berry color that I adore so much. Oh, I'm digging it. So I will definitely continue to use this even though the formula is a little bit different. I'll definitely be using that one in the future. And then the blush worked out so freaking well. I love it. And it goes on so pigmented and smooth and it's blendable. It's a really nice blush. I know a lot of people aren't super stoked over getting another blush in their boxy charm, but I really like it. So otherwise, that is it for today. Let me know down in the comments what you thought and what you got in your boxy charm. I'm curious about the uh, about the other variations this month. So let me know if you got a different box. But for now, that is it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and go out and spread some love and positivity today. You know I love you, baby, and I totally appreciate y'all joining me today. You are beautiful and mwah. Bye, everyone.